For any museum, probably the most valuable specimens, kind of the pride and joy of, of any museum, are their holotypes. So what is a holotype? Uh, you might hear it called the name bearer or the, the standard for that species, but what, what does that mean though? So let's say uh, I found, I think is a new species, and I've got a, a bunch of specimens and I've compared it with the other ones. I've looked at the DNA, I've looked at the morphology, and I'm convinced that this is something new. So then from that set of say 20 specimens, I need to choose one of them to represent that species. So that anytime somebody is not sure, is this, do I have something new or is this the same as, as something else? You go to that one specimen and that's the representative. That's why we call it the name bearer. It's the representative of that species. It's the one individual that you go to, to say, are you the same thing? So you want something that's pretty average. You want it to have all its parts because you may need those for, for comparison. And then we designate that the holotype. And that goes in a special place in our collection. We keep it separate from all the others because obviously we don't want to damage that specimen. We don't want to damage any of our specimens, but that one is especially valuable to us. So we keep that in a separate part in the collection. And we have over a thousand holotypes here in the Essex Museum, just from research done uh, from people on this campus. We have another thousand of them that we store over at the California Academy of Sciences. So we have over 2000 holotypes just from the research done here at UC Berkeley. Besides the holotype, you have those 19 other specimens and those become paratypes. And so those also were what the author, the person who came up with that name, they also looked at the other 19. So we wanna make sure we set those aside as being special as well. It's not some other specimen collected 20 years later, but that's the set of specimens the author was looking at when they described that new species, when they talked about what it looks like, how big it is, how small it is. They looked at all of those. They looked at the holotype and the paratypes.